segment brought to you by Mile High Shooting Accessories. All right, we're out of here on Range 44, Fort Bragg. We had a Mark 19 grenade launcher. Bill's gonna take us through this bad boy. Well, Larry, just like the M79, this weapon system's been in the Army for a long time, dating way back to Vietnam era. Uh, this is the primary automatic grenade launching system for the U.S. Army. It's available to the conventional forces and the soft forces. And the cool thing about this weapon system is it's not limited to the same ranges as the low velocity grenade launchers. With this one, you're capable of engaging point targets out to 1,500 meters and area targets out to 2,212 meters. Good deal. Now, when you were overseas, do you guys get much time behind this? Well, that's the great thing about being on a SFODA, Larry, is you do have access to some great weapon systems. Every team has a little bit of both. It has some light crew serve weapons, heavy crew serve weapons, such as the 50 cal Mark 19, and every team does have soft specific weapons. So the options are there for whatever mission type you may be running into. Again, the terrain and the area you're operating in will dictate what type of weapon system you take because these weapon systems do have to travel a certain distance, the rounds do, prior to arming. Yeah, minimum detonation range. When you were over there, did you see these mainly on vehicles, or did you ever see them in a, in a, in a fixed position? Well, I've seen them in a little bit of both, Larry. Depending on what type of weapon system you had on your vehicle, some vehicles and some convoys did have Mark 19s. Depending on where you were located, if you were located in remote fire bases and you needed this as a fire base defense weapon, you'd set it up in an area that cover the maximum area you could. Good deal. Now, how much do the guys out here that, in the students, how much time do they get on one of these, not only in the classroom, but when they come out, how much do they get to shoot it? Well, really, this is the only portion of the course where they actually get to fire all these weapon systems. So we'd stress to them here, make the most of your PE time. Don't train enough to pass the exams, train enough to be an expert at it. Yeah. Because the next time you see this, may be going down range to link up with your detachment. Right, and there's the guys on the team are gonna count on you. Oh, yes. I didn't get a chance to launch any rounds today out of the Mark 19. My experience with the Mark 19, good weapon system, you gotta keep it lubricated. You also need to know your clearance procedures because from a safety point of view, if you have a malfunction, clearing the gun properly is imperative. Also, having it mounted on a vehicle makes a lot of sense. Ground mounted has limited applications. Hope you enjoyed it out here in Range 44. I know I did.